My name is Jonas Schweitzer, and I'm from the Goucher I, speaking with the president of Goucher College. What is something that you'd like to share with, uh, share with the people of Goucher College that people might not know about you? I'm originally a musician, a uh, jazz pianist, so I actually share that with uh, my predecessor, um, um, Dr. Jose Antonio Bowen. Do you think there's a reason that uh, Goucher College uh, reached out to two different presidents with uh, backgrounds in music? People were, were stunned when they found out the... Um, um, I, I think about this, that both uh, Jose and I are from California. Uh, we both attended Stanford. At one, he went to undergrad and grad. I, I just you know, spent uh, time there doing graduate work. Um, we're both musicians. We both play jazz piano. Um, and, but as everybody said who knows the two of us, they said, that's about where you guys, you know, you guys are both very, very different in other ways. So it was um, uh, quite a surprise, I think, to the uh, search committee when they kind of um, found out and realized the similarities. But... It was, yeah, kind of a one in a thousand. On your Wikipedia page, it says that you um, studied Japanese shadow puppets. At first, people think, like, well, you went and studied puppetry. That seems kind of bizarre. Um, but the fascination for me was that um, as someone who was a musician, who was also a visual artist, who was interested in also in working with theater, I was fascinated with what are the different traditions around the world that use music and theater together. It was an interesting experience that was really kind of challenged me. At the same time, when I came back, I realized how much I didn't know about our own culture, the different influences that, that go into who we are as Americans. My fascination has always been with, um, I think, where we're going with our programs, the integrated arts. Um, having come at it as a musician, I, you know, I played you know, rock and roll, you know, and, and um, high school and I you know toured and I played rock and I played keyboards and I played jazz piano and I did that but I very much was um, knew that I was fascinated with the, the visual arts and theater and installation art so for me it was it was the, the tactile thing for me was was music that then led to ways that I could actually um, talk about bigger issues unfortunately I've had to basically put my music on the side I know um, uh, Jose was able to continue his passion in music and be able to do that. Um, I have just not found it possible for me. I, I'm, being a president is an all-consuming job for me, so I've kind of put, put music on pause for a few years. What, what about Goucher specifically most intrigued you? Um, it's long history in two areas, social justice and uh, international education. So, um, in your letter to the Goucher community in August, uh, mm -hmm. you listed mm -hmm. some top priorities. Mm -hmm. uh, you list those as enrollment, retention, and financial stance sustainability. Mm -hmm. um, so, how do you plan to go about achieving those? Uh, the last couple years, we've invested a lot now in new systems. We now have a new head of enrollment. He's working on kind of uh, working with the team. We're actually hiring new people in key roles. Two things that were most interesting to me this year with the incoming class was that the study abroad component was important or extremely important for 96% of the students who were accepted here. So that told me it was resonating for those students who decided to come here. The other thing was this year was the highest percentage ever who chose Goucher as their first choice, not their second choice as a college. I, I know that another one of your major um, concerns is uh, cost saving measures, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So why should cost saving measures matter to a Goucher students if their tuition isn't being because the flip side of that is, um, uh, I don't think higher education has been focused enough on cost saving in the last 30 years. I think as we've added more services in the last few years, um, like all colleges have, um, that we've got to be smarter in terms of how we use our people to basically kind of reduce cost in, in key areas. So, um, and, that, and that's just the reality of running any college today. Do you have any closing statements you'd like to make? One of the, the, the wonderful things about being a Goucher um, that people told me ahead of time is they said, you know, it's a very um, welcoming campus. The students are very engaged. Um, uh, several uh, college presidents joked me with me ahead of time. They said, well, we know of Goucher students. Goucher students are very engaged. You're going to be in touch with you know students. All it's not you know people. It's not a computer campus. People don't just come here, go to classes, leave. There's no engagement. I found both of those things to be incredibly uh, true, uh, and um, my wife, who we're just now completing the process of moving, of selling our previous house up in uh, New Hampshire, just north of Boston, 
moving down here so she's going to be moving down here in the next month and we're both just incredibly happy to be down here and for her to also be engaged in college life here so she's pretty excited about it as well so we're really looking forward to that and being here for a good long time